Greetings to you, dear followers of this voice. You are together with Advine Mwizera Ineza, and I'm going to share with you a lesson regarding health. But before we proceed, let us first pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your mercy. May your name be glorified. We ask your Holy Spirit to guide us throughout this lesson as you are the author of our living. May you help us understand how we may be helpful. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The Bible tells us that it's our duty to keep our lives in a good health. That's why in this short presentation, I'm going to talk about genital infections. So, um, since the, the sin has raised, we are vulnerable to diseases as the consequences of sins. And most of people who are more vulnerable are women. Let us use this verse, uh, the first epistle of Peter, the third chapter and verse 7, it is written, Likewise, you husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. When the Bible says that women are like weak vessels, it's not to undermine them, but it's because both their anatomy and physiology are more vulnerable to different diseases. And in this short presentation, I will focus on genital infections. So there are different kinds of infections, but generally those infections are caused by different things, especially civilization, as you are going to see. The dressing code which appear nowadays favorize the rise of those genital infections. For instance, you will see that women nowadays are putting on pants and other tight clothes which don't make the free circulation of air. And how their physiology is structured, it needs the free movement of air so that they, it, they are kept healthy. Another cause is that Nowadays, you see uh, there are toilets which favorize the spread, the spread of these infections. Like when the toilets are dirty and you come, you use it, and someone who used it before was suffering from this infection, you are more likely to get it too. Another, another cause is that people don't consume or don't drink enough water when you don't drink enough water and you focus on drinking sweets juices and whatever and you don't con drink enough water your body will not be able to resist those infections another one is consuming too much artificial antibiotics so those antibiotics when you you drink or you consume too much artificial antibiotics your body becomes weak and you are not able to fight against those infections and they become like chronic on your body. The last and the biggest is through sexual intercourse. Nowadays, people are no longer respecting the seventh commandment of God and as the punishment or as the consequence, they, will, they can also get these infections. So those are the main causes of the genital infections nowadays. You can have others, but those are the main. So if you want to prevent it, you have now to do the inverse. If I say dressing code, women should dress appropriately the dresses which will help the free movement of air in their genitals. 
Another thing, people should make sure that they are using safe toilets, which are not dirty. Another one, people should learn to consume less artificial antibiotics and focus on building their body to be able to resist the diseases. Here I mean to increase their immunity. Instead of using artificial antibiotics, they can focus on constructing their body using natural remedies in a such way that it will resist easily the diseases. Another thing is that people should consume enough water. Here they give us advices of at least 1.5 liters of water per day for adults. And this depends on the activities you do. If you do many act physical activities which causes you to sweat, you may increase the quantity. If you have the you have too much weight, you can also increase the, the quantity, but generally this is the minimum for adults. So it may be possible that you have been already infected. So what can you do? Here are pieces of advices to someone who may, may have been infected by those different genital infections. The first one, as I said it before, is to drink enough water. And beside that, you can use other natural remedies in this way. You can use two carrots in the morning, early in the morning before eating anything else and even before drinking water. You eat two carrots. At noon, you eat three tablespoons of pumpkin seeds. And in the evening, you eat three cloves of garlic. And you eat them together with evening, the, uh, evening food. And you do this in, during seven days. Another remedy is to eat capsin. This is a, a good antibiotic which can help you to cure of these infections. And you can also take it and you grind it and you mix it up with water and then you make a seat bath in that water which is not warm and not cold and you can make this seat for at least 10 minutes and you do it every evening. There is also another alternative of taking warm socks which, um, or seat bath, which contain different uh, herbs like rosemary or cypress. And you do this also uh, every evening until you are healed. Um, so, brothers and sisters, it is not... Uh, good to have those infections uncured because they can result in long-term consequences and even infertility. So it's everyone's duty to make sure if he notices um, any symptoms of these infections can try himself or herself to cure. And I'm going to end up by telling you different some of the main symptoms which may tell you that you are already infected. But in short, th these infections can't be hidden because they are very significant. You may feel uh, the pain in your genitals. You feel like you want to, to you, you, you are feeling the pain and you can also have uh, the white discharges or even they change the colors according to the stages of the infections. So if you notice any of this, you can uh, quickly consult those advices and I'm sure that it will be successful. So um, as the Bible tells us that it's our duty to, to preserve our health, let us close by reading the, in the Bible the third epistle of, of John, on the, on the second verse, it is written, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest pro prosper and be in health, even as thy soul, thy soul prospered. So it is 
God's wish that we, are, we become or we, we stay healthy. So this is the end of this presentation. You will get more, but make sure you follow all those steps so that you may uh, preserve your health in a good state. May God bless you all.